A small town in the foothills wants some answers. They've had no water for days. Indian Hills Water District says these troubles all started with a leak and they still haven't figured out where it is. Nine News reporter Rachel Kraus takes us to Indian Hills tonight to explain why people still can't trust what's coming out of their taps and the creative solutions that water managers have suggested. For the past four days, many in the Indian Hills community have been without water. That's four days without drinking water, four days without a shower, four days without a flush. And many residents, well, they're frustrated. Sunday afternoon, contractors were out digging underneath the snow to reach the water pipes impacted by the leak, racing against the sun to get the work done before nightfall. But the Indian Hills Water District reported these issues started days ago. First, with water pressure problems or no water at all in one zone of the water district, calling on people to conserve. Days later, a leak was reported in another district, losing water pressure to that area. Then on Saturday, the water district reported yet another zone lost water pressure. While some folks were boiling water, others were without water entirely. The water district even encouraged families to melt snow into their toilet tanks so they could flush. By this evening, the water district sent out an update offering a Band-Aid to customers, saying they'd gotten the okay from the state to distribute water. But they added, it's higher in nitrates than the allowed maximum contaminant levels. That water will mean some customers can flush and shower once again, but needs to be boiled before drinking, and it can't be given to infants or used to make baby formula. And still, they say, no sign of that leak that caused all these problems in the first place. I reached out to the Indian Hills Water District about these resident concerns and the lack of water around town. They declined to answer questions and declined to comment, pointing me toward a statement that they never sent. But residents say they want answers about what's happening and they want their water back on. In Indian Hills, Rachel Krause, 9 News.